Terra amps, are they a good amp? Are they a bad amp? Will it put out the power that you're looking for to power up your subwoofers? They blow out your subwoofers. Are they pricey? Are they a power hog? I'm gonna go over my full one year experience with the Terra amps in my truck that I have planned for base. So definitely stay tuned for the full video and then I will show you as a base demo with my 412 Sundown E-Series subs on my MD5000.1. Terra Amps has pretty much been around. I, I started hearing the brand Terra Amps for almost like five years now. Um, I was always iffy about using the brand uh, just because at that moment of my car audio career, all I really knew about was just Kicker Amps, JL Audio Amps, and Matt's Amp. Pretty sure there was some other amps as well too, but those were just the big dog names that I actually knew that were good with you know audio equipment wise. But finally, I actually did an installation on a single cab Chevy and I put a 1200 watt base series tear amps on 410s kicker CVRs. And listen, after I heard that truck, everything changed after that. I literally went tear amps crazy. So I have a tear amp right there. There are two tear amps underneath that amp. Another tear amp here. And then here is another tear amps as well too. There is actually another Terra Amps underneath there. I had other friends that had builds that had Terra Amps too. After I heard my friend's 215 scars on an AK MD series uh, Terra Amps, man, that was it. You know, your boy was sold, so I had to go ahead and put a MD series 5000.1 on my, my build itself. Some people may call these amp cheap, but listen, in no way form do I feel that these amps are cheesily made, cheaply made. They have nice inputs that you can put um aug gauge on them i actually have reducers in them to put dual aug gauge on my amp i feel they actually have the pretty best gain settings that you could possibly get on an app itself it comes with a level gain setting it has a crossover that has high pass low pass and it has a base boost setting that has your frequency and your boost md series of the terra amps are a full range amp that you could actually make it play for mids and highs or subwoofers i have actually heard uh, another truck that had uh, 412 E series subs too, um, and it actually had the base series 5K. And I had another friend that actually had another build, and I think he had 415s. No, he had actually had 412 Defbonds subs on the base series 8K as well too. I actually heard both of those trucks right there. And for some reason, you know, the bass was still, you know, smooth and pretty aggressive. But listen, something about that MD5000.1 definitely spits out some aggressive power that makes my subwoofers get down like crazy. <laughs> My previous builds that I've had, I've had, you know, 412 JL W3s, I have JL Audio W6s, I've had uh, CVRs, Solo Barracks, uh, Solo X, you know, and the list goes on. I have used quite a bit of different uh, types of amps. I've used the kickers, like I said, I've used the JL Audio, the HDs, I've used the mats, I use MA Audio, um, the Hardcore Series, the big black surfboard looking ones, um, I've used Orion. I have used the old school earthquake shredder guys. I don't know if you guys remember those, man. That is like a legendary amp right there. The Mats amps and the shredder amps, man, those are legendary amps right there. If you know about them, you know about them. For some reason, man, the MD series and the Terra amps give me that same exact uh, base experience that the shredder and the KX series 2500.1 kicker amp gave me. Don't get me wrong. I have friends that have Crescendo amps, Salt amps. Uh, the JP amps and you know all those amps that are actually out there right now that are leading um, brands in the car audio market right now but right now my amp of choice right now at the moment it is the MD series Terra amps I plan on doing another build here soon and I'm actually gonna stick with the MD series uh, tear amps as well too for the base on that next setup so definitely subscribe to the channel man turn those notification bells on and hit that like so you, it can help your boy uh, get that project a lot started um and so you can definitely do not miss those videos when they actually drop and when i actually get that car man but i'm whipping something up guys i've pretty much been running that that md 5000.1 on my 412 uh, Sundown E-Series subs for almost like a year already. The truck got completed uh, November 19th. And look, those are the Sundown E-Series subs. 
Look at those bad boys. I built the box as well too. Um, and I drop videos on how on building fourth order boxes and other boxes as well too. So if you want to learn how to build sub boxes at the convenience of your backyard, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you've been subscribed to my channel, man, you definitely know uh, the capability of my 412 subs. And for the electrical that I got on my truck, I just have the big three stock alternator and I have four uh, ER power cell batteries. Uh, man, we actually managed to go ahead and hit a 146.8 on the meter. Um, but just a few videos ago, my batteries that are underneath these mids and highs right here, the four one, um, there were terminals that had corrosion on them um, and terminals that were actually loose as well too. So I actually went ahead and did some maintenance on them and they are 100%. And so I'm actually, I'm actually cur curious now to see what this truck actually hits. I feel that after tightening it up, um, I feel that we can be in the 147 area, so maybe 147.3, um, but who knows, hopefully the next time, uh, hopefully here soon they have another uh, show where I can actually meet her at, and then with everything tightened up and buckled up, man, we're going to see what this truck actually does now on the meter with everything on it. One thing that I will say about this amp right here, that it is very, very power hungry. It'll definitely go into protect when it feels it's not getting the juice. It will take you quite a bit of time um, messing around with it setting it once you actually find a sweet spot on the gain settings man listen this amp is not going to disappoint you guys um there is a reason why if you go to a lot of these car audio shows a lot of people are using them Because man, listen, these things, when they are ready to bang and they're juiced up and they're set properly, man, these things are definitely going to do its job and man, put on a show, guys. They're going to definitely, definitely put on a crazy show. They're going to flex everything. Um, and it's a very possibility that it could blow your subwoofers out if you overhandle them, man. But if you treat it with respect, man, get to get that thing set right and have enough juice, everything will be all right. And it's going to jam very, very well. Now, price wise, um, Back in the day, you used to say a real deal amp would be a dollar a watt. So if you had a 3,000 watt amp, guess what? That amp was going to cost you $3,000. If that was the same thing going on now, uh, 5,000 watts, that amp right there would have cost us $5,000. But luckily, technology nowadays on 2023 um, and for the future and a little bit, you know, in the past, um, the Tear Amps is a Brazilian amp as well, too. Um, it has allowed these amps to be affordable um, and a very very good bang for your buck guys and when I my tear amps i feel i think i actually ended up paying like 450 475 or maybe 500 bucks for my tear amps and i know sometimes they can actually retail to like between five to six hundred dollars uh just depending when you got it or where you got it um like i said i have a year with this guy already it hasn't given me no problems and i believe i paid between like 450 and 500 dollars for this guy another thing that i will say the terror amp has a light for the power it has the light for the clip and it has a light for the protect um if you got that guy pumped up way too much and you're basing like crazy the clip light is going to blink you know rapidly um and then it's going to go into a protect mode in my eyes the clip lights letting you know like hey turn me down i don't like this and then the protect mode is just like i'm not going to blow up you're going to just have to shut this guy off when i first put in the amp uh, I did pump up the gains like crazy and I saw the clip light blinking like crazy so I just really much just back down a little bit adjusted uh, here and there my volumes on my radio and my EQ and listen guys that thing has been banging ever ever since so right now man we're out here at Walmart and we're gonna go ahead and give a quick little bass demo with the MD 5000.1 and you guys let me know in the comments man is that thing banging or not
So drop down in the comments, let me know, man. Are you guys a chair M type of person? You don't like them? Uh, what don't you like about them, man? Let me know in the comments, uh, man. And I hope this video actually opens up a little bit on your mind on purchasing an, a Terra Amps or if you are in, you know, the market to buy an amp. And man, them Terra Amps, man, they're good for, for the dollar, man. You can't complain about the price and the power that they put out. So that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys, man. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, man, if you love do-it-yourself car audio uh, tutorials, man. You're definitely at the right spot. Uh, man, we go to car shows, man. We, we bang the, the Silverado, man. We do all kinds of stuff and everything, man. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, you guys are going to watch this on Sunday. So I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.